bathroom. Room. Pretty good kitchen. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sale show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. We got a screamer for you guys today, okay? Quickly becoming, honestly, one of my most favorite neighborhoods in the greater Cleveland market to invest in. O'Leary, Ohio, folks, 211 Fifth Street, under 100K, right? $94,900. Where else in 2023 are you going to get this type of a cash flow cow? Cash flow machine! Cash flow producing thingamabobber! For under 100 G's. You ain't doing it, folks. You ain't doing it, dude. And that's why I love Illyria, bro. Like, I feel like everybody online and just like you hear all the other YouTubers or guru guys or Instagram folks, even the TikTokers out there are like, Cleveland's such a great market. Cleveland, 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 Cleveland rocks. I'm Drew Carey, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? They're all doing it. And people forget. That Cleveland, the city of Cleveland, has got like 300,000 people living there, dude. The greater Cleveland market, it's like 3, 4 million people, okay? There's so many little cities around Cleveland or near Cleveland that aren't specifically Cleveland that all these investors uh, looking at this market from out of town, from all over the world, listening to all the other influencers, things like that, turnkey providers, there's so many little cities that these people are not paying attention to because it doesn't have a Cleveland address. So it's totally off of their radar, except for those intelligent folks, the sophisticated and educated investor who watches Holton Wise TV and finds the screamers like I brought to you, right? If this had a Cleveland address, it'd probably be priced at 120000 If this had a Cleveland address, you'd have to get it lead certified every two years. Well, guess what? It doesn't, so it's not. 94.9 and you don't have any ultra like liberal poorly run lead certification process to deal with now do i specifically have anything against uh going through the lead certification process making safe and habitable housing for your tenants no of course i don't that would be asinine not to but like most things uh, that are done and put in place by the government, uh, there's a lot of red tape and bureaucracy and inefficiencies. And I don't think the city of Cleveland uh, is running their lead certification program appropriately. I think there's a lot of things that can be done to improve it. Uh, does it mean investing in Cleveland is no longer what should we be doing? No, guys, we should still be buying properties in Cleveland. But you have to factor that kind of stuff in uh, to your analysis to your due diligence, to everything up front before you make the purchase. By the way, while we're talking, uh, more info on that lead certification process will be in the notes below this video. I did a half hour long video that breaks down how that stuff works for you guys because, again, it's done by, you know, a democratic government because the city of Cleveland's government is democratic. And when a bunch of Democrats uh, get together and they create law and then they create things for, for landlords to do, uh, it's like they're like, yo, this would be the most efficient way to do it, so let's do it way the fuck over here like this. You know what I'm saying? So it took me a half hour to explain to you guys how that process works so if you're going to be in this market you really need to understand that and then after you understand that you watch that video you might be like oh that's sweet i'm still going to do cleveland deals or you might be like hey man you know what i see why this dude over here named james wise is like yo illyria is banging what's up with this illyria property for under hundred thousand dollars now it's not perfect but hey that's what real estate's about. It's about making money based upon other people not running their business the right way. The current landlord is only getting $950 in rent. He's got a tenant in there for $500, another tenant in there for $450. Market rent, when people don't keep up with the market rent, people don't pay attention to what's going on in the market. They leave money on the table. We got meat on the bone here, guys. Each of those units should really, in 2023, be paying $850 a month. So we really have a $1,700 rental for under 100K, no lead certification needed, right? Great property, nice little C-grade neighborhood. I love it. I think Elyria is awesome. If you haven't got my gist, if you haven't got what I've been putting down, if you ain't picking it up after I put it down, let me paint it for you very clearly with non-lead-based paint. I think Elyria 
is 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 probably, in my opinion, uh, one of the most landlord friendly markets uh, cities in the greater Cleveland area. Right. Like Ohio, red state, very landlord friendly. But folks, uh, I don't know if other people are letting you know this. The city of Cleveland itself is a big blue dot in a big sea of red. OK. Elyria is much more landlord friendly. So I think us as investors, uh, we're getting a ton of opportunity, uh, being hassled a lot less, having more freedoms, and making more money with our investments in Illyria. So that's why I really like Illyria. And again, it doesn't have the nationwide uh, magnifying glass on it like Cleveland does. So without everybody and their brother trying to pitch this stuff to you guys, the prices are remaining amazing, which is why we could pick this thing up for less than 100 k Now, just so you know, being pragmatic about this, I just want you guys uh, to be aware, right? It's possible for us to go in 30 day notice both of these tenants and be like yo your rent was 500 now it's 850 your rent was 450 now it's 850 and they're like sweet no problem dude that's awesome here you go and everything is all hunky dory and then you get 1700 dollars rent that's very possible but it's also possible the tenants might be like ooh that's a big uh, big increase there man and they might want to move out see we got a couple good things going for us right it's like pretty much impossible to get a two-bedroom unit for those prices uh, in 2023. So they probably don't really have anywhere to go, so they might just do it. But just so you guys know, as you can see through the footage we've been showing you why I've been talking here, uh, the units are dated. So if we do get a turnover, know that you're probably going to be dropping like five to $10,000 uh, on each of those units to actually upgrade them. So what I like to do is instead of doing the full blown go from five to eight fifty go from four fifty to eight fifty i like to do it slowly right so like if market's eight fifty you're paying four fifty boom how about we up your rent to seven hundred and now you're like oh okay well there's nowhere else i can go that's this big uh, for 700 everything else is 850 I'm just going to bite the bullet and I'm just going to stay, right? We'll probably be able to do it slowly and eventually get them up to market rent over time uh, without you having to spend that money on a turnover. Because, guys, let me tell you this. Turnovers are the biggest return killer, okay? There ain't nothing that hurts your pocket. Ain't nothing that hurts your bottom line. Ain't nothing that messes up your profit margin on a rental property more than tenant turnover, folks. We make more money the fewer times our tenants move in in and out of our properties. If we have one landlord over here who rents this property for eight fifty a month every year, but he has a total of eight tenants over 10 years versus landlord over here who has the same property, rents it for 700 a month every year for 10 years, but only has three tenants over that 10-year period. So this guy has eight tenants th at 850 This guy has three at 700 Which one of these two guys is going to make more money? This guy. The guy who rented at 700 and only had three turnovers over that 10-year period versus the guy that had eight. Returns are bigger better and more consistent the longer your tenants stay, right? So first and foremost, you guys should be thinking about that when you're looking at this huge rental increase we're about to do and you're getting all like, ooh, this is great. I'm going to make so much more money. There's a lot of meat left on the bone, but you're smart if you keep a little bit on that bone for a little while because you want to keep them butts in your units so you keep the money coming into you as opposed to out here to Holton Wise to renovate your property. Anyway, a slice of this deal is a banger. If you want to make an offer, send an email to my team, sales at HoltonWise.com. If you want to pay cash, great. Hey, I saw your uh, property, 211 Fifth Street. I'd like to offer $95,000 cash. Here's a screenshot of my bank account balance. You can go ahead and black out your social security, things of that nature. I do not need uh, to commit identity theft. Selling real estate and collecting rent is doing very well for me. Uh, the ad revenue we're getting off of Holton Wise TV and our sponsorship revenue is doing great. So I'm not in the market to steal your identity right now. Who knows? That might change in the future. So why don't you go ahead and just block that out, black it out now so I don't get tempted down the road, right? Uh, if you want to buy this house with a lender, that's cool too. Uh, same thing. Just send an email and then send your proof of funds, or not your proof of funds, instead of your proof of funds, send your pre-approval letter and uh, let us know. Hey, I saw your property. I want to offer $95,000. i am getting a loan. Here is my pre-approval letter. Or if you don't have a pre-approval letter, you don't have a lender, you're not working with a letter, don't you worry, Holton Wise TV folks. We will help you. Uh, just send an email to my team, sales at Holton Wise, or 
click the notes below this video to book a free call with my team. Not only will we talk to you about working with us, we will also set you up with a list of lenders who lend money to investors just like you all over the world. 30-year loans, fixed interest loans, 25% down for everybody living in the United States. Folks overseas, we have lenders for you as well, but just so you know, the terms are not going to be as attractive, but hey, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.